Number 11, if x minus 1 over x equals 20, then x equals. So we're going to solve for x here. So x minus 1 over x equals 20. So in order to get x out of the denominator, I need to multiply by x. That way these will reduce to 1 now that the denominator is gone. Of course, whatever I do on one side, I have to do on the other. So now I have x minus 1 equals 20x. And I need to get the x's all together on one side. So I'm going to subtract x here, subtract x, or 1x. This eliminates, that equals 0. Negative 1 equals 19x. Now to get x by itself, I just need to divide by 19. To reduce that to 1x and divide by 19. So x equals negative 1 over 19. Let's see. Okay, number 12. A ball was kicked into the air from a balcony 20 feet above the ground, and the ball's height above the ground in feet t seconds after the ball was, ki was kicked was that. <laughs> what was the maximum height in feet of the ball above the ground after it was kicked? Okay, so maximum height. When you're talking about maximum height, we're looking, of course, this is t squared, so that tells us it's a parabola, and it's negative in front of that. So it's it's shaped something like this. So here's our 20. It's thrown from 20 feet off the ground. There it goes, and there it hits the ground. So these negative x squared, negative t squared type problems are basically just negative or upside down parabolas, and as you can see from the path of where the um, ball would go. Okay, so the maximum height, that will occur at the vertex always. The maximum or the minimum of a parabola or of a quadratic or to a problem with t or the variable squared, any of these cases, the maximum or minimum value is always going to occur at the vertex. So the vertex, um, we need to find x, y. y is going to give us the height, right? This is our height here. But we want to know, we need to find at what x value does this happen? So the answer to that question, x equals negative b over 2a. This is a formula you need to know to get you the x-coordinate of the vertex here. So let's go ahead and solve for that. And also keep in mind, we need to rewrite this in standard form. So this is negative 16t squared plus 32t plus 20. So my a value B value and C value are here. So A equals negative 16, B equals positive 32, and then C equals 20, but we don't need that for this particular problem. So to find X, we have negative B, which is 32, over 2 times A, which is negative 16. That's negative 32 over negative 32, which is going to equal positive 1. 32 over 32 is 1. So this happens at the x value of 1. So if we want to find what that is, we plug it into our, val our uh, equation. So negative 16 times 1 squared plus 32 times 1 plus 20. See what that gives us. Negative 16 plus 32 plus 20, that equals 36. So that's the height here. 36 at t equals 1 second. So back to our question. How, um, what was the maximum height in feet of the ball above the ground after it was kicked? So the maximum height occurs at the vertex. We found the x-coordinate of the vertex was positive 1. We plugged that into the function here, the f of x, or y equals, however you'd like to see it, and we got 36. Now another way to do this, um, you can go ahead and graph the function. So again, it should be in standard form, so I, I moved it into the correct form, and we're going to graph it, and it should look something, oops, 
one up. So. This is not working how I wanted it to. Sorry, one second. So we can see that height of 20 that we talked about. So my Y max, I'm going to change to say 25. Okay. So here's about 20. My Y max is 25 here. So it crosses at about 20, which is correct. That's what I that's what we sketched here. And the vertex, that's actually my bad again. Let's change that. Y value, so we can see that vertex up there. Let's say 40. So I'm just changing the scale so we can get a better view of the graph. Okay, that's much better. So here's our 20. It goes up and then comes back down. So at one second, right here, we can see that that's the point of the vertex. And at the height of one, if I want to trace it, at a height of 1, we can see 1.06, it's about 36. And if I go to my table, it's going to confirm that. At 1 second, the height is 36. And we can see that's the highest value. So that's just another way. You can also use the graph to show you, or just to confirm that your answer is correct, rather. It's always a good idea to work it out, just, just to be safe. Okay, so our answer is 36. That was our height. Okay, number 13. The yard behind Cindy's house is rectangular in shape and has a perimeter of 72 feet. If the length L of the yard is 18 feet longer than the width W, what is the area of the yard? Okay, so let's draw a yard here. Perimeter is 72. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put that down here. So the length is 18 feet longer than the width. So 18 feet more than the width. And the width is just the width. So we've got W plus 18 is our length. Actually, I'm going to write that either way. And then W for the width. So I'm going to take, and I should actually write these all the way around. So we're going to take those values and use this perimeter to find what the width is. And then we can use that to find the area since that's what we're looking for here for our final answer. So I've got W plus W, so that's that one and that one, plus W plus 18, 18 yes, plus W plus 18, and all of that equals 72. That's my perimeter. So I know all the way around the perimeter of this rectangle equals 72, and I just add it each of the sides. So all together, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4 W plus 18 times 2, which is 36, of course, equals 72. And then we can subtract 36, subtract 36. 4 W equals 36. We divide by 4, divide by 4, W equals 9. So if W is 9, then W plus 18 is going to be 27, plugging in those values. And 27 times 9 is 243. So the area is length times width. That's going to be 27 times 9, and that equals 200 and 43. Answer C. Okay, let's finish this up. we got two more questions. Zoom out a little bit. Okay, the table shows the high temperature last Thursday, okay, last Thursday, for five cities, A through E. If the median, or the middle value, of the Thursday high temperatures for these cities was 81. So here's our median. Which of the following could not have been the high temperature 
last Thursday for city A. So this one doesn't have one. We don't know what it is. So let's go ahead and list these out. If we know 81 is the median, that means it's in the middle. Then there's 87 and 93 and 62 is over here, but we know this is the middle, so it could be a value between these two or it could be less. But we know for sure, so it could go here or here. It could be less or greater than. Um, but we know for sure that it has to be less than 81 because 81 is the median. That is the middle value, which could not have been a high temperature. So 85. 85 would put this the value over here, which would change our median. The median would become 85 if it was included. So it cannot be, oh, so 85 is actually going to be our answer. <laughs> um, but let's just check it. 75, that would fit here, so that would work. 65, that would also fit here, and that would work. And 55, we could put that here, and that would also work. And keep keeping this 81 as our median value. So the one that it could not be is 85, because that would change our median value. Okay, number 15. There are 20 children in the cast of a class play, and eight of the children are boys. Okay, so let's start with that. 20 minus eight boys is gonna leave us with 12 girls, eight boys, let's get our info. Okay, so of the boys, four have a speaking part. So boys, four have a speaking part. And of the girls, eight do not have a speaking part. So of the 12 girls, eight do not, which means that four do. So here's our speak, these are the speaking roles here. Four boys and then eight from 12 leaves four girls. If a child from the cast of the play is chosen at random, what is the probability that the child has a speaking part? Okay, so we're gonna add these two up. So that's eight, there's eight speaking parts out of a total of 20 children that were cast in the cast class play. So eight over 20 will be our probability and we can divide those both by four to reduce this and that will leave two out of five as our answer. So the answer is A. Good luck studying.